what up guys uh germ here and i wanted to make my third after effects tutorial today on uh how to add twixer and kind of like cut clips and a bunch of beginner stuff that you're gonna need to know if you want to start editing so hopefully it will help, this will help a lot of people and uh also real quick i think i'm gonna name start naming these editing tutorials see like a bunch of these episodes and put them in a series and call it um editing for dummies so hopefully you guys stay tuned for a lot more episodes of editing for dummies but hopefully you guys enjoy this episode too and uh but let's get started so actually i'm gonna show you guys twixter first so if you don't really know what twixter is um it's that uh thing that makes the clips slow down um might as well just go into here um it's like the thing that makes it kind of go slow motion after the shot and everything. Um, but yeah, so it's using you can use it in every edit that you do. So there it is, kind of right there. But let's see, ready? Oh, it kind of uh, so it's very really slow and everything. But uh, yeah. So that's Twixter, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to cut clips and add. Let's I'll probably do how to add gun sounds and everything too. So this is gonna be a really long tutorial probably. So because I'm gonna be going pretty slow for people um, who are new to editing and don't really know that much about After Effects. But uh, just stay tuned to watch the whole tutorial if you really need the help. But um, so we want to go to After Effects and come up to the top bar, come up to Composition, create a new composition. Press OK. Then we're gonna want to import a clip from somewhere I'll just do this I guess Let's go with this one I guess I don't even know what this clip is but just do it anyways okay so drag your clip from up here down to your timeline let it load in and uh what you want to do is a lot of clips will have these black bars on the side and on the top so what you want to do is you just want to grab a little square and just drag it out a little bit so you don't see those anymore uh, not every clip will have that but most clips do so you can just do that and um, so to add Twixer you want to um, find where the guy shoots and I don't know if if people's after effects do this but when I add Twixer if I add effects first and then add Twixer it like deletes those effects I don't know why, so um, my uh, my suggestion would be to uh, add Twixter first. But so you gotta find where the guy shoots somewhere around here. Jumps off and he shoots right there. Okay. Right. Okay. Right there. All right. So here's the frame before. Here's the frame that he shoots. And uh, for Twixter, you want to go a couple more frames up, and uh, it's kind of personal preference where you want to add the Twixter, but I think it looks best right when the five plus 500 gets it at its biggest point. Um, see how it's small and then big right there. You can either go frame, you can go frame up too if you want. But um, what you want to do is you want to type in Twixter on your sidebar over here. Uh, it is a plugin that you're gonna have to download separately. It does not come in After Effects, so uh, I cannot tell you guys how to get it for free, or if you can get it for free. But um, just look it up on YouTube. And then, so you want to drag it from up here, put it onto your clip, and it depends what your clip. You should check what your clip's FPS is before you uh, do any of this. So. Uh, right click on your clip, go to properties, details, and right here how it says 59 frames per second, that means that uh, 59 frames per second is preferred, but in your Twixter it says input frame rate right here, and it starts at 29, but if you're doing Twixter on a clip that is 59 FPS, you're going to want to put it to 59.94 FPS. Okay, so, and then that will stop come, um, some warping and everything like that. And just drag the motion sensitivity all the way up to 100. And uh, come down here to um, 
right above where your clip is uh, on this toolbar up here and this uh, thing that's like a bunch of movie things lined up it says enable frame blending you want to click that and enable frame blending and then uh, what you want to do is rate when you're on the clip that you want to twix or part that you want to twixter you want to um, click the little stopwatch right here um, I don't know why this is such a big problem for a lot of people it was when I started using After Effects 2 um, for uh, clicking the stopwatch and having to uh, motion or key everything so you want to click the stopwatch at its at the speed 100 and then you want to come over here and click this button right here to go to the next frame and then once it's at the next frame you want to drop your speed down um, I would recommend one two three for after a shot but if you're using feeds you can go anywhere up to like 10 or even higher um, just for like a fast twixter but I usually put it at three and then there we go it's twixtered alright so um, we'll render out a preview real quick of what it's gonna look like so it jumps off I didn't even see what this clip was this clip is a bill and then it it slows down like this and kind of gets all into slow motion and everything. So that's kind of, that's what the clip is, or that's what Twixter is supposed to do. And it's a really clean effect. And you should really use it. In every, you should really use it in every edit that you do. And also, in every edit that you do, please just uh, please put a lot of time in your edits and don't be lazy about it. And uh, hate when kids who are editors and don't put their own gunshot sounds in and uh, I'll teach you guys how to put a gunshot sound in right now so find the frame of where he shoots right where he shoots see he doesn't shoot right there it's the dead frame and then you go up and he shoots and come down to here on the left side of the clip right where this little speaker is and click that and that mutes the clip so there's no sound in the clip anymore so you don't hear all the background noise and you can you can uh, duplicate the clip if you want to get the reactions in there if you really wanted to, but um. So what you want to do now is you want to find a gunshot sound, and uh, I uh, at 200 subs I'm gonna be coming out with an editing pack, which will have gunshot sounds in it probably. So if you guys get me, I think I need seven more subs for the editing pack to come out. That would help a lot and that would be great, but uh. I have an intervention sound right here. And you just want to drag it into After Effects. So here it is, intervention MP3. And uh, okay, so there it is there. And you can zoom in from going in down here on this little uh, slide thing right here. And what I do, it's really easy when you're on the shot, you click the bracket button, not the parenthesis button, but the bracket button, and it moves it right over to wherever the frame is, and uh, I'll show you guys here, I'll open up like a notepad, or something, or I'll just type it in the search bar, this, this is a bracket, that's what you click, not this, not this, but this, you gotta click that, and the left bracket will set it on the right side of the um of this red line and this one will put it on the other side or the right bracket usually I don't know why it's not doing it right now but so there we go the intervention sound is on but this intervention sound I know it is it like doesn't start for a while it doesn't start right where this uh right where the file or right where this clip starts like right where this uh sound clip starts the intervention sound doesn't make a sound so what you want to do is press L L press it twice and you see where the wave lines are and you just drag it up to the red line and then you can just drag that over and now you should be able to hear this gun sound so here we go there we go so there's our gun sound and everything and it looks all clean and great and perfect and um so now I'll teach you guys how to cut clips uh, this is also good if you record and you want to cut clips in After Effects so um let's just get rid of the clip put it back in 
So you want to drag your clip onto there. And uh, let's say you want to, let's say you're editing and you want to cut out this part where the round comes up. You just click on this clip and you click shift curtle D. Oh wow, what just happened? What is going on? Whoa, okay, but you guys should just click shift curtle, curtle D and it will come up. But uh, since I'm recording right now, it uh, is gonna mess up and bring that pen tool thing up. But uh, yeah, so um, stop coming up. And uh, so that's how you would cut a clip. And then say if you cut it right here, you would drag this part over um, to the right spot and have it just line up so it looks good. And uh. So that's probably it. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on anything else, uh, like this video and comment on it of what I should make it on. And I think my next tutorial is going to be uh, simple transitions and maybe some advanced transitions to another stuff like that. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. And uh, seven subs away from getting to 200, and that's when my editing pack comes out. So hopefully you guys can get me there. And thanks. Peace.